Florence, Italy, the year 1240. In the 13th century, the world experiences a transformation in its way of interpreting reality. It's a moment of tension between two great eras, the last years of the Middle Ages and the timid beginnings of the Renaissance. In September of 1240, Florentine painter Cenni di Peppo is born. He's known internationally by the name Cimabue. Despite receiving a Byzantine artistic formation, Cimabue goes beyond, marking out through his work the passage from Byzantine art to a more expressive art form. We see a clear example of this change in language in Cimabue's Christ, conserved in the church of San Domenico in Arezzo. The cross that is conserved in this basilica is, probably, one of his most known works from his youth. This is a very important cross because it is preserved, fortunately, intact. The artistic peculiarity of our artist is that of being a painter still tied to the tradition of Byzantine art, but with novelties that would be successfully furthered by another great and internationally known artist, Giotto. The novelties are, especially, as we can see in our cross, before which one can't but feel enthusiasm, both the colors used and the expressivity of the body of Christ. Jesus, Son of God, man like us, is crucified and suffering. He dies as a man on the cross. The crucified body is a body martyred, wounded. The design of the body is excessively arched with respect to previous depictions. We find ourselves before this new iconography of Christ on the cross, the Christus Patiens. The beauty of this work can be seen in the little details and the execution of the particulars. For example, the hair that, although it may be in a rather archaic style, begins to approach a more expressive naturalism. The artist designs it lock by lock. The same happens with the hairs of the beard and with the expression of the body that he lets fall. The realization of the cross also presents novelties. The most important part of the cross is occupied completely by the body of Christ. And while in the previous representations the lateral tablets are adorned with different stories, in Cimabue's work the only scenes depict the sorrowful Virgin Mary and Saint John painted on the arms of the cross. The novelties introduced and applied by Cimabue in Italian painting and figurative art were immediately recognized by his contemporaries. And it's precisely one of his understudies, the Renaissance painter and architect Giotto, who perfected Cimabue's technique in an exemplary manner. <laughs> 